Cave. My name is Brenda, the Newbie Crochet, and in this video we're going to do the Sassette Stitch. It is my favorite stitch for uh, baby blankets. You can use it for any number of projects. Uh, so let's get started. Let me put this to the side. I'm using a 4.5 millimeter hook and I'm using a very light 3 blend. Um, I believe this is a cotton blend yarn. We're going to go ahead and start with a slip knot. Now the way that I do my set stitch, um, my blankets and my projects, I usually once I do the foundation chain, my next is a row of single crochets and then on the third row I actually start the set stitch. So I am going to show you why I do that and um, let's get started. So in order to do it with the foundation chain um, and then single crochets, we're going to crochet multiples, um, it's just going to be odd numbers. So it's going to be uh, multiples of 2 plus 1, so an odd number. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and we'll do 15. Okay. Odd number of, uh, basically it's multiples of 2 plus 1. Because in this first row that we're going to do now is going to be all single crochets. So we're going to go into the second. 1, 2. Chain from the hook and we're going to do single crochet. We're going to do a single crochet in every chain after that. Okay, there is our first um, first row, which is all single crochets. Now we're going to chain one and turn our work. In this very first stitch right here, we're going to do a single crochet and a double crochet, both into this very same stitch. Okay, so let's begin by doing a single and a double then you're going to skip the next stitch and into the next stitch you're going to enter or you're going to keep listen to me you're going to do a single crochet and a double crochet again skip in the next one we're going to do a single crochet and a double crochet we're going to skip a stitch and in the next one we're going to do a single crochet and a double crochet. Once again skip. On the next one we're going to do a single and a double. Single crochet and a double crochet in that same space. Super easy pattern. We're going to skip again and in the next one we're going to do a single crochet and a double crochet. Skip next stitch and in the following we're going to do a single crochet and a double crochet. Skip and in here we're going to do another single and double once we finish it's going to leave us with just one stitch at the end and it's kind of hard to tell because it kind of goes into the curve but in here 
we're going to do a single crochet. You're going to end each row with a single crochet. Okay. Now we're going to uh, chain one and turn the work around. And in this very first space right here that we just created, we're going to do a single and a double. Single crochet and a double crochet. Let me show you something. Then we're going to skip. Then we're going to skip this stitch right here. And we're going to work here. And if you notice, we're going to be working on the V's, on these little V's right here. We're going to skip. We're going to work on this V. We're going to skip and we're going to work at this V. We're going to skip and we're going to work in this V. So that's your little cue of where you need to uh, work. And that is actually the single crochet from the prior row. So, um, it's a little bit, it's, it gets easy because you kind of know exactly where those little V's are and it's easier to locate than trying to find the stitches. So uh, we're going to skip and in here we're going to do a single crochet and a double. And that's basically all you do. You repeat that row, that third row, each and every time. Skip and into this V, we're going to do a single and a double. skip and into this V a single and a double I'm going to skip here and into this V a single and a double and these are US terms I'm going to skip here and in here we're going to do a single and a double again skip and in this V, a single and a double. And you've reached the end of the row, so you're going to skip here and in here. This very last stitch is once again it's a little tight, hard to see. You're just going to do one single crochet. You're going to chain one, and then you're going to turn your work. Once again, in the first little V, which is actually the single crochet from the prior row, you're going to do a single and a double crochet. Once again, we're speaking in US terms. Okay. And like I showed you before, we're gonna skip this stitch and we're gonna work in this little V. We're gonna skip this stitch and we're gonna work in this little V. We're gonna skip this stitch here and we're gonna work in this little V. See if I can show you. So we're gonna skip, we're gonna skip this and we're gonna work right in here. Skip, stitch, skip, stitch, skip, stitch, skip, stitch, skip, stitch, skip, and we're gonna stitch in this corner. I am a tight crocheter, so my stitches tend to be a little tight. But I'll do the best that I can to show you my, sti my, my stitches here. So we're going to skip here and we're going to go in here. And that's it. That's basically what you do row after row. Skip and into the V, a single and a double. Skip and into this V a single and a double. Oops, forgot my single. Skip and into this V a single and a double. Skip and in this V a single and a double. Skip and then this stitch here in the corner, squeeze in there, you're going to do a single crochet. Chain one, turn your work. Once again, this is a little V from the single crochet we just did in the prior row. So we're going to go in here, we're going to do a single crochet and a double crochet. So you begin each row with a single and a double in the very first stitch in the base of your turn chain and you finish with a single crochet. Skip 
in this V we're going to do a single and a double. Skip and this V another single and a double. Skip and in this V another single and a double. Skip and in this V a single and a double. Skip and in this V a little a single and a double. Skip and in this V a single and a double. Skip and in this stitch back here we're gonna do just a single crochet chain one turn your work and we start all over again show you what it looks like and this is what your work looks like okay we're gonna go ahead and do a couple more rows and I think you got this okay so we did our single crochet chain one Turn around, work around, and single and double. Skip, single and double. Skip, single and double. Skip, single and double. Skip, single and a double. Skip, single and a double. Skip, single and a double. Skip and in this stitch down here we're going to do a single. And chain one and turn our work. This continues to grow. Beautiful stitch. This is what it looks like once it's all completed. Well, this is my completed sample. Exactly the same instructions that I'm just that I just gave to you. You can tell this is the base row where I started with my foundation chain, single crochets, and then go up. So once again, if you're going to do a foundation chain and a first row of single crochets you're going to use multiples of two plus one okay that's the way that I like doing it because it gives me a nice sturdy um, sturdy uh, foundation especially if I'm doing a blanket and then when I finish I normally do another row of single crochets right around the top border as well and I just love the way that the edges kind of do this little squiggly on their own so I usually don't bother uh, doing anything in the in the side uh, edges but in the side borders but in the top one and the bottom I like to have that single crochet all the way um, around the top and the bottom as a way of kind of you know making the blanket a little bit more um, sturdier and um, and makes it look finished okay so I'm going to go ahead and do one more row with you guys and I think you guys are good from here. Turn around. So we did, let me go back here. So we did single crochet, chain one. Turn our work around and we're going to do a single crochet, double crochet on that very first stitch. And we're going to skip and then single and double. We're going to skip, then single and double. And skip, and then single and double crochet. Skip and single and double. Skip and single and double. Gonna skip, skip, and single and double. And we're going to skip in this little corner back here. We're gonna do a single crochet. Chain one, 
chain one turn our work and we begin again one last time let's do this single and double skip single and double skip and into that little V single and double skip and into that V single and a double crochet skip and into the V a single and a double crochet and a skip and in this V a single and a double crochet skip and in this V we're going to do a single and a double crochet skip and in this final stitch in the corner we're going to do a single crochet and that is the set stitch like I said I crochet pretty tight that's just the way I work but you can do it as loose as you want as tight as you want this is two different samples this one of course I worked up a few more rows and this is basically the same thing just not as not as many rows a beautiful stitch uh, you can use it for washcloth you can use it for uh, burp cloths for babies you can use them for um, blankets um, uh, shawls it, you can really use it for anything it is a beautiful beautiful versatile stitch and I think you'll enjoy doing it if you enjoyed this tutorial please don't forget to give me my thumbs up and uh, if you have any comments or suggestions I'm welcome to all um, uh, kinds of um, constructive feedback I enjoy them I love reading them and uh, uh, once again I hope you enjoyed this tutorial enjoy it uh, until next time, peace from the Yarny Cave. God bless each and every one of you guys, and we'll see you real soon. Bye!